Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video review for youtube.com slash droiddog and droiddog.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at an application called Extended Controls, which as you can tell by the name is very loosely associated with the power control widget that's built into Android. Selecting it in your app drawer won't actually open up the application, since of course it is a widget, but I'll go ahead and go into that later. First of all, I'm going to show you how to add the widget and customize it to be your own. First of all, just like any other Android widget, you hold down on your home screen and select widgets. And with this particular application, you can select a 1x1, 1x2, 1x3, or 1x4 version of the extended controls. So for this version, we'll select the 4 across. Here you have your customization options all together in one option with a giant preview at the top, which is really, really convenient. Today we're going to be building sort of the ultimate power widget for the Motorola Droid, which uses pretty much anything we could ever need. So we're going to use the standard eclair icons and change a few things with the background. In fact, we'll leave that at dark. And you can notice here you'll change the transparency in decimals of, in, uh, sorry, increments of 10, anywhere from 0% to 100%. So for this example, we'll choose 50% transparency. You can change a couple of other things about the look, such as what the indicators look like and other colors. But for here, just for now, we'll scroll down and begin adding things to our widget, and you'll see them up at the top in the live preview. So the first thing we'll add is maybe a Wi-Fi toggle. The Wi-Fi toggle here looks just like it does in the built-in standard Android power widget, as you can see here. Next thing we're going to add is a GPS toggle. And there it is. And we'll keep going. As you can see here, you can make this as crowded as you want and add as many things. Some things you can even change custom options behind what they do. For example, brightness, you can set custom brightness settings, which I'm not going to do for this video, but you can obviously change a whole lot about each thing behind every button on your toolbar. So I'm just going to keep adding things until there's more than the standard four. As you can see, we can add an auto rotate lock, the one touch uh, access to airplane mode and a whole bunch of other things and even an LED or white screen torch so for the droid we'll add an LED one touch torch which is very cool now our bar is getting pretty crowded but as you can see here we are nowhere near adding as many things as we can possibly add to our 1x4 widget as you can see I'm scrolling through the list here of things we haven't added but once we're done we can go ahead and hit that apply button on the bottom right hand side and there you go we've created our widget and we can place it typically wherever we want on our home screen, just like the Android standard power control widget. All the functions work pretty much instantaneously, as you can see that LED torch works just perfectly, and it's also really fast. We can put ourselves in airplane mode, you know, use any of the standard controls with one touch. Even though the buttons are a little bit smaller, it works uh, just fine with anyone with, you know, average size fingers like I do. You can also note the 50% transparency in this widget. Some people might not like having transparency, so you can always make it 0% transparent. But if you find out that you've done something to the widget that you don't like, you can always change it later, which I'll show you. Here's also another widget that I have that I created earlier that actually has a battery meter that will bring you right to the amount of battery used by every single application on your phone. And that's built into Android. Everything that we change here on this one widget on one screen will affect what happens on the other widgets that happen to have the same button. So for example, when we go ahead and try to change something in extended controls, all we have to do is open it from the app drawer and hit that widget button in the middle. This widgets button will show us all the widgets that we've added to our home screens. We go ahead and select the widget that we want to edit, so we'll pick that one, and we can go right back into these settings and change every single thing we were able to change before. For example, adding, removing buttons, changing transparency, colors, etc. So if you ever do something you didn't want to do, you can go ahead and change that, hit the apply button again, and boom, just like that, your widget has changed. You can't do that with the standard power widget. Overall, I found that this has been a very helpful application to have, especially if you aren't running a custom ROM like CyanogenMod 6.0 that has something like this built in. You can really customize it to the greatest of your ability, and I have my own widgets on other home screens that I haven't even showed you yet. So this has been really nice to demo and really fun to use. This is available for just under a dollar in the Android market, and you can find it by scanning the QR code, which will be on the Droidog website, or by just searching Extended Controls. This has been MKBHD with the Droidog review video. Thanks for watching. Peace.